Message from the Virgin Mary Pope Francis finally reveals the third secret of Fatima When Pope Francis finally revealed the enigmatic third secret of Fatima, a veil that for decades had concealed a crucial part of spiritual history was lifted. This secret, shrouded in mystery and speculation, has intrigued and inspired generations of believers and scholars. Kept under lock and key by the Catholic Church, its contents have now come to light, offering not just a religious narrative, but an in-depth look at what the future holds for humanity. The Pope's revelation is not only an act of enlightenment, but also an invitation to explore the deeper meanings of the Fatima apparitions, which date back to 1917. In that memorable year, three young Portuguese shepherds bore witness to the extraordinary. Lucia Santos and her cousins, Francisco and Jacinta Mardo, claimed to have seen the Virgin Mary on several occasions over the course of six months. These encounters, now revered as the apparitions of Our Lady of Fatima, have become crucial milestones in Catholic faith and tradition, influencing millions over time. To understand the third secret of Fatima is to immerse oneself in a journey through history and spirituality, where the messages revealed can offer profound guidance on the course of future events. Its full revelation promises not only to illuminate the past, but also to shed light on the present and what is to come. This moment not only strengthens the faith of those who believe in Marian apparitions, but also challenges skeptics to consider the lasting impact of these events on the collective consciousness. So, as the Catholic Church reveals the secrets held for so long within her bosom, we are invited to reflect on how these revelations can shape our understanding of the divine and the destiny of humanity. It is an opportunity not only to deepen our faith, but also to contemplate the role of divine revelations in times of uncertainty and global change. During the memorable day of July 13, 1917, in one of the most remarkable apparitions, the Virgin Mary revealed to the three young shepherds of Fatima a series of visions and prophecies that have echoed down the centuries. These visions, known as the Three Secrets of Fatima, have become pillars of the Catholic faith, penetrating deeply into the world's religious consciousness. The first two secrets were revealed to humanity in 1941, but the third remained shrouded in mystery for decades until it was partially revealed by Pope John Paul II in 2000. This last secret, according to the Catholic interpretation, addresses crucial issues such as the existence of hell, the horrors of the First World War and the persecutions faced by Christians in the turbulent 20th century. The revelation of the secrets of Fatima is not only a religious event, but also a cultural phenomenon that has aroused the interest and devotion of millions around the world. The study of Marian apparitions reveals an intriguing pattern of manifestations that defy purely scientific or skeptical explanations. Among the hundreds of accounts investigated by the Catholic Church, only a few have been officially recognized as authentic, most notably the Fatima apparitions, which have gained special prominence due to their magnitude and the messages revealed. Cultural anthropologists Vitter and Edith Turner offer a fascinating interpretation, seeing the emergence of these Marian apparition cults as a response by the middle and lower classes to the rapid transformations of modern post-industrial society. They explore the social and cultural factors that may have contributed to the emergence and acceptance of the Fatima revelations, highlighting how these events transcended the boundaries of religion to become icons of hope and spiritual transcendence. Thus, while the Catholic Church continues to investigate and interpret these divine manifestations, they remain not only testimonies of faith, but also historical milestones that echo through the ages, challenging and inspiring those who seek to understand the role of the divine in the trajectory of humanity. At the heart of these revelations is the life of Lucia Santos, whose journey from childhood to her adult religious life is intertwined with the mysteries of Fatima. At the age of 14, in 1928, Lucia was sent to study at the School of the Sisters of St. Dorothy in Villar, near Porto, and later embraced the life of a nun in a convent in Spain. Despite her discreet life, 
Lucia was encouraged by the Bishop of Lyria in the 1930s to document her experiences and those of her cousins, Francisco and Jacinta Mardo. It was in her third memoir, written in 1941, that Lucia finally revealed the truth contained in the secret of Fatima, divided into three distinct parts. The first two parts were made public that same year, while the third, written on January 3, 1944, during a serious illness in Spain, was delivered at the urgent insistence of the Bishop of Lyria. Lucia, fearing that her life might end before she could divulge the last secret, heeded the bishop's call to record her final words on the subject. Before we delve deeply into Lucia's personal testimony, it is crucial to consider the theological reflections of the then Cardinal Joseph Ratzinger, who approached the message of Fatima with great seriousness. Ratzinger acknowledged the speculation and debate surrounding the third secret, emphasizing that its content may not satisfy all expectations. He clarified that the secret is not intended to solve worldly mysteries or predict specific events, but rather to symbolically describe the church's trajectory in times of challenge and persecution. These revelations have not only fueled worldwide devotion to Our Lady of Fatima, but have also stimulated a profound examination of conscience within the Catholic Church and beyond. The message of Fatima transcends the boundaries of time and culture, offering a call to spiritual reflection and the search for peace in a world constantly transformed by challenges and changes. So, as we explore Lucia's legacy and the meaning of the third secret, we are challenged to consider how these revelations continue to shape the global understanding of the role of faith and hope in humanity. According to Lucia, the vision revealed carries a profound spiritual message that echoes down the ages. In the vision, an angel with a flaming sword threatens to destroy the world, but it is the radiant intervention of the Virgin Mary that extinguishes the flames and offers hope. The angel's call of penance, 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 resounds as an urgent call to repentance and spiritual renewal, inviting humanity to abandon sin and seek divine justice. The vision continues with a symbolic scene of religious figures climbing a steep mountain towards a large cross, while the Holy Father walks through a ruined city, praying for the souls of the deceased scattered along the way. When he reaches the top of the mountain, he prostrates himself before the cross in a gesture of profound sacrifice for the faith, only to face martyrdom at the hands of soldiers, symbolizing the challenges and persecution faced by those who defend their faith to the end. This disturbing spectacle not only depicts an impending tragedy, but also conveys a message of hope and redemption. The fiery sword represents divine justice, while the radiant glow of the Virgin Mary symbolizes the mercy that always accompanies God's justice. The persecution that unfolds in the vision reflects the constant struggle between good and evil, challenging the faithful to remain steadfast in their faith, even in the darkest circumstances. The angels collecting the blood of the martyrs offer an image of hope and spiritual triumph, symbolizing the transformative power of suffering and the witness of faith in the face of adversity. This vision not only warns of the spiritual dangers facing humanity, but also encourages the continuous search for justice and inner peace through repentance and penance. It is a call for everyone to reflect on their lives and choices, in a world where spirituality and a commitment to transcendental values are more necessary than ever. Almost four decades after the original events, in May 1982, Sister Lucia shared a revealing letter with Pope John Paul II, offering her interpretation of the third secret of Fatima. In this correspondence, she described the secret as a symbolic warning, warning of imminent dangers if the supplications contained in the message were not answered. She prophesied that if the world did not respond adequately, Russia's errors would spread, triggering armed conflicts, persecution of the church, and suffering for the Holy Father. Today, in a gesture of humility and after intense reflection, I am sharing with you a new revelation about the third secret of Fatima. This secret, guarded for so long, now reaches the world at a time that the Virgin Mary, 
in her infinite wisdom, has determined is opportune to enlighten the steps of humanity. The message is clear. Only through prayer, penance, and fidelity to divine teachings can we face the challenges ahead and realize the vision of peace and unity entrusted to us by the Virgin of Fatima. In revealing this ancient mystery, Pope Francis not only opens up new horizons for reflection, but also reminds us of God's sovereignty over history and of human responsibility in shaping our own destiny. The story of Fatima is a vivid testimony to divine intervention in earthly affairs and the continual call to conversion and spiritual renewal. The third secret of Fatima resounds as a powerful reminder of the perpetual battle between good and evil, emphasizing the urgency of repentance and the transformative capacity of faith in the face of life's adversities. In this context, it is essential that each of us asks ourselves how we can respond to Fatima's call in our own lives. How can we contribute to a more just, peaceful, and supportive world, following the paths of love and compassion that the Virgin Mary teaches us? May the revelations of Fatima inspire us to seek reconciliation, truth, and hope, guided by the divine light that never ceases to illuminate our path, even in the darkest hours. Recently, a miraculous event involving Pope Francis brought to light an impactful message revealed by the Virgin Mary about the destiny of humanity. This transcendental moment, awaited by decades of speculation and mystery, finally culminated in Pope Francis' courageous revelation of the third secret of Fatima. With profound humility and respect for the divine message, the Pope revisited crucial truths that echo through the ages providing a unique opportunity for reflection and a deeper understanding of the role of faith and prophecy in our world. Pope Francis' decision to unveil this historical mystery not only demonstrates his unwavering commitment to transparency and the search for truth, but also reaffirms the vital importance of faith and hope in challenging times. His spiritual leadership guided him to reveal the hidden truth of the third secret of Fatima, transforming it into a beacon of understanding and inspiration for all. This revelation is not only a milestone in the history of the Catholic Church, but also a call to action for all the faithful. Pope Francis emphasizes that understanding the message is not enough. It is essential that each of us responds actively by living the principles of repentance, prayer, and charity. These values are not only fundamental to individual spirituality, but also to building a more just and compassionate society, as taught by the message of Fatima. Therefore, as we contemplate this historic revelation, we are invited not only to absorb its spiritual significance, but also to act on its guidance to shape a future more in line with the divine principles of love and reconciliation. May the light that emanates from this revelation guide us in times of uncertainty, strengthening our faith and renewing our hope in a world where truth and compassion are the pillars of our spiritual journey. This message resonates deeply in a world marked by various crises, conflicts, inequalities, and a growing need for spiritual unity. Pope Francis reminds us that in the apparitions of Our Lady of Fatima, the Virgin Mary consistently emphasized the importance of prayer and sacrifice as powerful means to achieve peace and conversion. In the midst of the turbulence described in the third secret, there is a palpable hope of redemption and transformation through divine love and sincere devotion. Dear brothers and sisters, the responsibility to respond to the call contained in the third secret of Fatima rests with each one of us. By turning to God with sincere and humble hearts, we are invited to become instruments of His peace and mercy in this troubled world. Let us then commit ourselves to fervent prayer, fasting, and the practice of Christian virtues. Every gesture of kindness, every moment dedicated to prayer, every effort of repentance contributes to building a more just and compassionate world. The message of Fatima calls us to constant spiritual renewal, reminding us that, regardless of the challenges we face, God's consoling presence and the maternal intercession of the Virgin Mary are always by our side. In this spirit of communion, it is essential that we unite as a community, 
supporting each other and promoting the peace that the world so desperately needs. In conclusion, Pope Francis' revelation of the third secret of Fatima represents a spiritual and historical milestone of profound relevance. It invites us not only to reflection, but to concrete action, inspired by the teachings of Christ and the message of the Virgin Mary. May we welcome this revelation with renewed faith, unshakable hope, and an ardent love for God and our fellow human beings. May God bless us all and guide us always with His infinite mercy and love. Amen. Thank you for watching this video. Leave your like and subscribe to the Living Hope channel on YouTube. Activate notifications by clicking on the bell to receive other publications.